This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Beta Zombie John Marson has finally been found in the x 60 files of Red Dead Redemption. Now, only 0.0001% or something along those lines have ever seen this model in Red Dead Redemption 1 in multiplayer. Now, I originally believed that this was only could be found or seen on the Xbox One versions of Red Dead Redemption. However, that ended up not being true. Um, my friend Frost Dragon, he also goes by Revenants, um, he actually seen this model years ago on Xbox 360. Needless to say, I never believed him because I could never find the actual model on the 360 version of the game. Um, however, I did finally find him for the 360 version of the game. However, there are some credits I have to give. This isn't all my doing. So, I want to give credits to Frost Dragon for originally bringing it to my attention. Um, I then want to give credits to Seki or Seki. I could be betraying that name. If I am, I am sorry. I just don't know how to pronounce S E K I. Seki, Seki. Anyways, um, both of them get some major credits here because if it wasn't for them, I would have never found this. Um, Frost Dragon gets credits in the fact that he brought it to my attention. And he gets more credits, which I'll say later on. Um, Seki or Seki gay, uh, gets credits because they originally um, figured out how to pretty much make this version of the beta zombie John Marson always appear in multiplayer on Xbox One. Or at least it seemed to be Xbox One. That's how they always got to show up. And it's underneath some very specific and certain conditions in which it shows up, which is why barely any of the player base has ever seen this player model. Now, if you've seen this player model in multiplayer on Xbox One, 360, PS3, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you remember a year you saw it, if you remember around what time, you know, stuff like that is very interesting to me and it'd be great to know. So, me and Frost Dragon looked for this model for ages. I mean ages, a very long time, and we just couldn't find it. Um, I ran across this version of Zombie John on multiplayer for Xbox One, like, one time, and that was a little over a year ago. And within that time of over a year ago, I, I pretty much sat, and I've looked, and I've looked, and I've looked, and I've looked again, and I just couldn't find it. However... I did find these two images, or I did find this one image here. Now, this one image here, pretty much, you know, was evident. It was good proof. It's like, hey, this version of Zombie John, it exists. But I can't find the model for it. I can't find the textures for it. But I find this UI element that pretty much gives evidence and proof that it does exist. So we're not crazy. So anyone who's seen this model in multiplayer, I promise, you're not crazy. It is real, and it exists. It's not some myth. It's not some legend. Um, here on the screen now, you'll be seeing some other screenshots of the actual model in multiplayer. The image credits go to Seki, Seki, whatever. Again, sorry if I'm butchering it. Butchering it. Um, yeah, they sent me sent these screenshots in the Red Dead Redemption 1 modding Discord, and that lit a flame under me. It made me say, realize, hey, this is... More people have seen this. Me and Frost Dragon, we're not crazy. Um, so due to that, it lit a fire under me, and I started looking. And I looked, and I looked, and I looked again. Same result as last time. I couldn't find anything. So, um, I'm just going to say Seki from here on out, uh, just because it's easier. Seki ended up, you know, giving me a baseline, um some information on basically how to make this version of Zombie John show up, at least on Xbox One. Uh, and at this point in time, I just figured and thought it was an Xbox One only thing. But because that's the only place I've seen it, that's the only place I know they've seen it. And um, it kind of gave me a direction on where to look, but I still just couldn't find it. Uh, and it was with certain DLCs installed, an Undead Nightmare being uninstalled, but another player online having Undead Nightmare being installed, and they're playing as the multiplayer Zombie John. And you would see that zombie model. Um, at the, I didn't know which DLCs, so I had to go through the DLCs. And then Frost Dragon ended up remembering exactly which version of the game he played on. He remembered exactly which DLCs he had installed. And that 
helped me tremendously on finding um, exactly which DLC the Beta Zombie John Marston was located in. Uh, it's actually in the uh, Hunting and Trading Pack DLC pack uh, for Xbox 360. More than likely, it's there too for the PS3 version. However, I don't currently have my PS3 hooked up, nor those DLCs downloaded at the moment. So, um, I can't verify that for the PS3 side. But it was only in those standalone DLCs. It wasn't in Game of the Year. It wasn't in Undead Nightmare standalone releases. It wasn't in normal base game version of Red Dead Redemption releases. It was only in the Hunting and Trading Pack uh, DLC in which it was found. And on screen, I'll show the uh, model loaded up now. And that is that is what he looks like. Uh, like you've seen in the previous screenshots and you know stuff from uh, Seki. Um, He's there. His model is real and it is there. And I want to give a huge shout out to I'm Foxy. If it wasn't for his RPF tools, we wouldn't have probably never found it. Uh, his model viewer for, you know, the model stuff helps a lot with seeing this kind of stuff. Um, and I know you guys are probably tired of my Red Dead Redemption content. Uh, sorry, this is just something I had to quickly make and something I had to quickly release. Uh, because this is something I've been looking for for a very long time and he has been found. Now, anyone who has the Xbox 360, Xbox 360 version of the game um, and ISO mods, I will release the uh, model files for you to use for normal single player. Well, for Undead Nightmare uh, single player and, you know, multiplayer. Uh, you can do that via ISO modding. Just uh, replace the uh, models in the, uh, the uh, pat and the RDR2 underscore layer 0.RPF in the fragments folder. Um, if you're on RGH, just add a fragments folder and inject the models into the patch zero uh, Xenon RPF for RGH users. And um, yeah, guys, I'll have the mod down below where you can use it, do whatever you want with it. Uh, it's just a basic model swap to swap the final Zombie John to be the beta version. Now, I'm not sure if this is really a beta version of John, but it's definitely a version that was not released. So we can only assume it's a beta version or a test version or, you know, something along those lines. So yeah, guys, I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to go to single player and show you uh, it in action. Then I'm going to go to multiplayer and show you it in action as well. Now, this undead cowboy here, that is going to be the uh, Beta Zombie John Marson. Now, if you look at the icon, and a lot of people probably didn't notice this, or you had a game version where this icon was wrong. Um, but for the undead versions or game version you have where it shows this icon for the undead cowboy, that is actually an earlier version of the outfit. And it's pretty similar to the, the beta version that I will be showing you today. Now, on, on certain versions of Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, Undead Nightmare DLC, uh, PS3 versions, Game of the Year, you know, I don't know exactly which version of the game or which certain title updates, but that icon will sometimes glitch and just show the normal cowboy icon. So, so a lot of people may not see this icon, but that is actually the earlier version for it, and I guess they just never replaced it when they finally release the game because that is definitely not the version of the outfit that gets used and uh, I'm going to show you the beta version of John now.
All right, guys, and there he is. Uh, you can download the mod below to use the beta Zombie John Marston for Xbox 360 in the description below. Um, if I end up running across it for PS3, I'll have that in the description below as well. However, if someone finds it for PS3 and sends me, you know, the files, I'll also uh, upload those for use on PS3. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's not a myth. It's not a legend. If you've seen it, what you saw was real. It's not your eyes playing tricks on you. It's not some fever dream. He's right here, and he's real. So yeah, guys, come and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.